One Love Festival kicks off in Winston-Salem in just a couple of days, or you'll be able to catch a series of events, including concerts, art, and business displays from local artists on all platforms. Sounds pretty cool. Today we are talking to the festival's co-founders, Derek Young and Dr. Melva Sampson. Good morning to you both, and thanks for joining Good us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. First, just talk about what the inspiration was behind the One Love Festival. So thank you for having us. The inspiration behind the One Love Festival is really um, an opportunity for folks to understand culture and understand history, moving in the way, understanding that music, particularly in the African-American tradition, has also has always accompanied um, um, upward mobility. It has always accompanied um, in the midst of unrest uh, and in the midst where there is a need for communities to come together. Music and art has been central and so that was our inspiration for the One Love Festival. And we know this is a two-day event, right? So give us a rundown of what people can expect. Okay, on Thursday of this week, uh, June 22nd, is our kickoff event at the Milton Road Center for the Arts there at 251 Spruce Street. So at 6.30, we'll have a kickoff event. We are bringing in internationally known visual artist, sculptor, and painter, Anjabar Matoye, and he will be providing a live um, performance piece while while everyone is there. We'll have a DJ, and then we're also commemorating. We have a surprise guest that we're bringing in that will commemorate um, 50 years of hip hop. That's and that is it. free to the public. And then on Friday evening is our um, entertainment. Um, on Saturday evening is our entertainment. On Saturday during the day from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Enterprise Center, join us for our Artistic Soul Conversations, where we will be joined by uh, Fleming Elamine, by Amber Baker, by author Ramal Toon, Everett Witherspoon, Ashley Thomas. And on Friday, um, our headliner is Eric Eric Roberson, um, uh, Winston Salem's own V Star, um, and many more. So Rock from Atlanta on Saturday. Chelsea Green and the Green Project, Lion Tracks, um, Naya Jane Brown, and DJ Thane will be rounding us out. So this and Deborah Bond. So this mm -hmm. is an opportunity um, that is family forward. Uh, that we invite the entire community to come out to because our goal is to inspire, to educate, and to empower. And we believe that if we can inspire educate and empower then just possibly we might be able um, to have to make headway uh, on some very important conversations particularly fresh off the heels of Juneteenth. Wow Dr. Sampson this sounds incredible that you were able to put all of this together mm -hmm. so if folks aren't able to necessarily come out how else can the triad further support your efforts and the One Love Festival as a whole? That is such a great question. Uh, we are so thankful for many of our sponsors uh, that have showed up and showed out. And at the same time, uh, we just received some news that has shaken us just a little bit um, about some processes through some funds that we have through the county that require a very um, tenuous process. And so folks can really support us um, through drmelvasampson.com, uh, uh, yes, drmelvasampson.com, and using Dr. Melva Sampson. If folks say, hey, I can't go, but I want to support and purchase a ticket, you can use that via Zelle. Um, and our website is www.thenumberonelovefestival.com. Really quick, because I'm just so curious, um, this festival happens in other cities, right, Melva? And so tell us what made Winston-Salem such a great fit for you guys and your mission. Well, one reason Winston-Salem is, is important to us because we actually live here in Winston-Salem. Okay. And when we arrived to Winston-Salem a few years ago from moving from Atlanta, we saw Winston-Salem as a, a great city to continue to add to, a great city to continue to bring our friends and our resources from other parts of the country here to Winston-Salem. Uh, we, we call Winston-Salem a boutique city and we consider Winston-Salem a jewel. So we thought it was fitting and important to do our work that we do around the country and other parts of the country right here in Winston-Salem and be able to launch One Love Festival and, and the city and the county and the other institutions and the Arts Council to really join with us, get behind us so we could amplify this uh, movement and this festival. 
Moreover, and, it's the city of innovation and arts. Right. <laughs> you just took the words right out of my mouth. That's very true. And thank you both for your time. For everyone at home, the One Love Festival is this Friday and Saturday in Winston-Salem. Information is on your screen. Those addresses and times and a rundown of all of the events, too, can be found on onelovefestival.com. Their website is very user-friendly.